This is Twit. Before we get into your stuff, we, we sometimes try to get in a little bit of news ahead of time. And there's a uh, uh, there was a um, uh, a problem that uh, with Apache that Alibaba, which is a Chinese giant, discovered um, and kind of handed it over to the community to do what the community does, what the Apache community does, and fix this thing. Um, and Jonathan, you've kept up better with this than I have. So to tell us where we're at now with it, and and. Giannis, you feel free to jump in as well because you had some cool things to say about it earlier. Yeah, so it's it's related to Apache, the the organization, not Apache, the web server. Uh, it's it's Log4j, right. which is a Java library for logging, and it's a very popular one, and it's used in a whole bunch of things. Like Minecraft is one of the one of the big ones. Um, I think a bunch of Android apps use it, uh, and then a lot of enterprise Java applications use it. Well, there's this little problem that if you log just the right string that contains a link, a, a specially formatted link uh, off to, I believe the, the thing I've seen so far is off to a, an LDAP, LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol Server, it will go do the lookup and then execute the code that comes back. And hopefully you see why that's a problem because, you know, you're, you then have a very easy way to get arbitrary code execution. And uh, I believe that article stated that like the ninth of this month, they so knowing what the flaw is, people have now looked back through their logs and internet traffic and they've seen this being exploited as of, and, and I believe it was December 9th. So it was a in the wild zero day for a few days there before somebody found it. And, and, the good thing is that probably none of this are running this on our own desktops, uh, you know, unless, of course, you play Minecraft, which then you you might have a problem. Um, but again, a lot of enterprise software runs it. And uh, I've already seen stories where people are getting hit, you know, big companies are getting hit because of that. And then uh, I, was, I was saying before the show, I'm getting emails now from one of my clients who are getting... Um, scary accurate spear phishing, which spear phishing is a fake, a scam email where someone has a lot of information that they've included as a part of the scam. And so it looks very legitimate. Um, one of my clients is getting spear phishing emails and I'm wondering if it's not data that someone got as a result of this uh, particular vulnerability. So it's definitely uh, still an ongoing story. Uh, at least one person, I believe Dan Gooden on Ars Technica, has made the statement that, as far as he can tell, this may be the most serious vulnerability of all time. I don't know that to go quite that wow. far yet, but it's definitely in the running for it. Uh, Yanis, you were you were chatting about this. You you want to add in your two cents? What what your uh, perspective on this is? Yeah. I, so there there's a an issue that that can be overlooked. That like if this sort of thing happens with a package that happens to be written in C or C++, then, you know, Debian and every other distribution will pick up on it really fast. And if you just do apt upgrade or, or just have some regular security patches, it'll patch itself. But a lot of languages have this culture where the way you, you handle packages is, oh, I'm just going to throw in a jar file or, you know, in, in JavaScript, it'll just be a, a something in my node modules directory. And and mm -hmm. it, it ain't going to update itself. And so this, when when there's a security in, uh, uh, flaw in something that's written in Java, it can be years before uh, everybody has sort of noticed, oh, actually, I do have a log4j <laughs> jar file sitting around doing something. It They they yeah. don't get updated very automatically in a lot of cases. So mm -hmm. this, this could be nasty just in terms of how long it takes to sort of resolve itself, too. Uh, like like some of the nastier radioactive elements, it's going to have a very long half life. Yeah, that's a that's a really interesting uh, insight yeah. <laughs> into it. 